Previously, the Civic makes the journey to Winton Raceway for Saturday testing. Chris Gretsch in his EM1 sets a 1 minute 39 on his first session ever at Winton before retiring the day with a blown transmission. Adam Kazmiri steers the JDM Yard DC2R to a minute 30 with just a few laps of testing. And lastly, in my D-Banger Honda Civic, times tumble to a personal best of a minute 47. With near optimal track conditions predicted for Sunday, is there more in it for these Hondas? Stay tuned to find out. I'm just out here in the pit lane garages with Grant. Yeah, we're just talking about his really cool AH Civic. And it's got a D16A3 in it. That's right. Uh, D16A3 has Delorto 40mm carburetors on it. That's really cool. Yeah. Check this out, Chris. So this motor was originally air oh, uh, fuel injected. Yeah. And um, we've removed that setup in favor of the carbs, yeah. mainly because <laughs> of the noise. and the Yeah, it must sound pretty spots. loud, actually. Sounds cool. Yeah. How's the car respond with the carb instead of the, the EFI? So I've, it's only been run up on the dyno. Yeah. Um, so first session today, we'll find out. Yeah, cool. All in this little AH Civic package. How heavy is the car? Last time I had it on the scales, it was 825. 825, yeah. Um, but since then, I've changed the exhaust manifold, which yeah. probably saved about five kilos. Yeah. And also the this carburetor setup is probably lighter than the EFI setup. So yeah. Maybe we're around 18, 815, something yeah. like that. The D-series lovers might like Grant. He actually, I, last night I was um, in Wangrata, where we were just uh, resting and I was watching videos of his uh, D16 turbo around here. 37? Yep. Yeah. 37? No, that's quick. It's not the full potential of that car, obviously. Oh yeah, you still have the car? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I love the livery as well. Yes, yeah, it's all getting redone at the moment. Yeah, cool, cool. Thanks for showing us. Lloyd, I know you're going to watch this. Lloyd, you'll love it. So unfortunately my GoPro was off, but we set a new personal best, uh, 146.13. Really close to that 45, um, and the data looks promising. So, we definitely have an increase in our KPH, so I'm hitting 140, even 143.8 there, um, and my minimum speed is about 63. On my personal best lap was 57.8. So I'm definitely um, carrying a lot more speed in the corners and on the straight, but unfortunately, I'm struggling with tire management. I had a look at them this morning and the fronts are not looking too happy. I wanted to rotate the tires, uh, but another thing I need to consider is I've done two track days already and about what, 1,000, 2,000 Ks of driving on these tires. Um, and uh, the fronts have worn in a lot more than the rears, especially with that extra camber and the toe at the front. Swapping the tires front and rear might not actually help. I was offered a set of RE71 RS really worn tires. I think they're gonna be better than these. Uh, but I want to see if I can push these tyres to a 45 and then once we chuck those RE71 RS tyres on maybe we'll do a 44, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably being a bit greedy. Uh, I still need to drive this car home and it's a long, long way home. Um, but otherwise the car's running well. So yeah, let's go for a walk around and see what the boys are up to. Let's go, Gyps. That's D-Series 46.1, yeah, buddy. Yeah, these are the set that Paul offered me. Um, they're like a slick now. <laughs> there's no trade on them either, so... 
Now, I wouldn't say they're that soft either, uh, but let's have a look at the one that's in the Civic. I still have a decent amount of tread on it, but it's been through a lot of heat cycles. The right side doesn't look very happy. The rears are pretty good, um, but yeah. I was told yesterday, actually, it's not good to drive your race tires in the rain because the rubber absorbs the moisture and it ruins the compound. Yep, that's what I did on Friday night. Paul McKinnon ZG, stock K20, doing like 32s. This is a bullet with a really good driver. How'd you go? Yeah, alright. I got, I got fucked up on my best lap. Ah. Alright, so let's just call me up, so let's see what we can do. I went out again last session and we did a 45-1 and partially courtesy of Jerry, Jerry from Go Garage. Um, show us your logo. Yeah, Go Garage. Uh, they import a lot of Japanese cars. Uh, what we did was uh, hilarious. We actually, we actually tried to tow on the straight and I think if, even if it didn't do as much of an effect, it gave me more confidence in breaking to turn one. Uh, so we'll show you guys some of the data and definitely with the tow, We've got 145 uh, Ks, that's, that's the fastest it's ever gone, um, which is very impressive uh, for this uh, for this D-Series. I think um, uh, on the out lap and the first initial lap, we're going out, you know, we could see the K just pulling away. I wasn't really sure if the tail was going to work, but yeah, Jerry kind of balanced it and brought the car back to try and give us a, a decent tow. Yeah, I kept turning in my rear view mirror and I shot shifted when I can, when, if, when I'm pulling away too much. I made sure that like I, I lift off the troll a little bit and make him uh, let him catch up. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Jerry's Jerry's one. Um, the, Jerry's blue FD is an FD2R. Uh, yeah. So it's a re really much quicker as a JDM K20A, <laughs> isn't it? Yes, it's the quickest JDM K20A with yeah, a cool. 5.1 uh, final drive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. naturally aspirated JDM K20A. Yeah. Um, it's pretty much stock. Uh, just an airbox and an axle back. Um, but 
I know I've known Jonah for a very long time, so I'm very happy to help him out. <laughs> yeah, nah. Uh, it was good fun because we were kind of like, hmm, is this gonna work? And I was like, hey Jerry, you wanna try this? And it was right on board with it. So yeah, the first corner when I was coming in hot at 100. 145 k's an hour into the first S. I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this together because I, you know, I was carrying way too much speed compared to my previous uh, laps. Uh, and yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad we could uh, stick it out and, and set a good time. Now we've done a 45-1. I'm getting a bit greedy, but I think there is a 44. There's a, there's a 44 in it because actually it's 45-1 on race credits, 45-0 on oh. that soft. <laughs> so, I reckon there is a little bit more. I yeah. Guess. If I think there is more. more hotel, <laughs> it's, uh, the, the track's a little bit cooler. Yeah. I think that will be the best time around. Yeah. For for I agree. I, yeah. I, I think um, I did the same thing the first session this morning, I did the same, exact same thing, and my, my KPH was already up. So the track is definitely warming up. Um, and also, my tyres are pretty shot. Um, I'm not sure. I still have to get home, so I'm not sure how much we can send it more before, you know, we're going to end up with some some troubles. Or we can rotate them during lunchtime. Yeah, <laughs> I was talking to you guys that we, I was thinking of rotating the tyres, um, but you know, with the contact patch from having more camera in the front um, and having a lot less wear in the rear, you know, that contact surface might take a lot more time to bed in. Um, and being, you know, being pretty old now, these tyres, I think, uh, I don't think they'll be very happy with them. Um, <laughs> much more molding <laughs> anyways i just wanted to say a thanks to jerry and go garage um, no worries. yeah if you need anything need any genuine cards hit them up thank you all right so we're about to go out for another session and the boys had a fantastic idea we're going to pull out the stock air filter just leave the box there and see if it makes a difference the boys reckon there's a few kilowatt there i got the boys here kayla and dean they're going to help me take this air filter <laughs> no, i'm just giving them the camera stock air filter stock air box Are we, oh, that's no good. <laughs> OEM panel filter. Yeah, looks pretty clean. That's it. Should I leave it open? Should I leave it open? I don't know. Just send it. That 102 you bought, that should make a difference, shouldn't it? Good for a 44. Done. Just came back from probably my second last session uh, and we ended up with another 45.1 um, with an optimal of 44.8 so I do think there's more time in this group B that's me um, but I thought we'd have a look at Matt's car now this is Matt we were here for a couple hours didn't even say hello um, but then when I said hello he actually has been seen he's seen a few videos on the Civic um, and I thought it would be really cool to have a look at his EG6. Um, so yeah, tell me a bit more about the car. Yeah, so it's basically just, yeah, EG6. Um, B16A is being replaced with a B18C7 from a yep. BC2 Type R. Um, it's just got a mixed ratio gearbox, so um, shorter, first to fourth, OEM, fifth, uh, OS Geek and LSD. Yeah. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like it's pretty much standard. Just runs an oil cooler, um, towed a lighted light and flywheel, um, ZD clutch, and that's pretty much it from a power plant perspective. Yeah. Like it's just very basic. I love um, how basic it is. Yeah. And, and I was saying before that if I was to build my car in a way, it'd be similar to this. You know, quite a probably NA, uh, yeah. B series, and you know, just clean and simple. DC two R brakes, front and rear. Yep. Yeah, so all DC2, um, yeah, five stud conversion, so all, yep. yeah, DC2 are lower control arms, but yeah, just running the standard yeah. um, 282 on? calipers and Project Mu. Project Mu's. Yeah. Project Which Mews. ones? Uh, HC 800. 800. Yeah. They're yeah. the best. I yeah. love them. I only had issues with them because of just pad noise. Yeah. But, um, you know, I got over that and yeah. they're such a good pad. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good pad. Very hard on rotors. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, great pad for the track. I never yeah. have a problem with fade yeah. um, or anything like that. Um, yeah. And that's, yeah. Then Kang's AR1s. Yeah, so just got the AR1s. Um, just in a 20550. Mm. So, yeah, it's nothing sort of super crazy. Yeah. In terms of offset and whatnot. Yeah. It's really clean. I love it. Nice. Very nice. Anyways, I better head on track. Thanks for showing us the car. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah. Good luck. Good to, good to meet you. <laughs>
Oh no. Grant in this little edge, the poor thing. It was a car in front of me. This is really quick. It was right behind me, like at the end of the straight. Uh, I let him pass and the next lap, I just saw a lot of smoke and Grant pulled on the side of the track. Uh, it looks like he's put a hole in the block. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little hole. Um, yeah, unfortunately that's his day done. Uh, but you know, we race these cars for a reason. He's happy. <laughs> um, yeah. We race these cars, we break him and then we fix him. How's the car feel, Dad? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, Did it at 37, 36? Something like that, I got a yeah. double check. It feels quite nice, a lot of wheel spin in third. Yeah. That's good. Car running well? Yeah. Same super cool actually. I've only seen like 90 degree oil temp. <laughs> or something like that. So That's good. Really Seems like the track is getting warmer now. Oh, but you're still going faster, so. Still going faster. I reckon 30, 32. 30, 33, 32. <laughs> Easy. It'll be a breeze. TV. See the front? See the front is not up to 10. That's what I mean. Yeah. And that was a 29 too. That's it boys and girls. This uh, little Civic has done so well. Really happy with it. I couldn't have asked for more. Wanted to come to the weekend with a 48, and we've done 45.0, so we're pleased. Um, there's really nothing more in it. I think my optimal time was something like a 44, 8, 9 or something, so maybe a point one, but it's not really worth pushing. Um, and while we're at it, we'll visit back. How'd you go, Dad? Really good. Yeah? That was a last ride. Nice. I, just, I literally did like just five hot laps after each other. After awesome. Each other. Tires alright? Yeah, that was good. Tires alright? Tires? Nah, just wheel spin. Second oh, yeah. gear wheel spin, third gear wheel spin. 
We're gonna pack up and we're gonna head over and see how the boys are going. Let's go, Adam. We could tell. <laughs> what a beast. It's been an amazing weekend and I'm knackered. 650Ks to Winton, two track days, and now 650Ks home. So we're heading back home tonight. Uh, me and Kit, we're gonna take turns driving home. These videos are a bit different to the normal, um, but let me know if you like them. A uh, bit of a vlog style, but you're gonna get many opportunities like this. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.